Hello everyone, welcome back to ETO ICT Media. Uh, today we are going to dive into some basic uh, Excel functions that will help you become more capable in spreadsheet management. Uh, so whether you are a beginner or looking to refresh your skills, so this tutorial is for you. Before we begin, let's ensure that you have Excel opened like this on your computer uh, if you don't have an excel installed uh, you can install it from the internet or you can use google sheets or any other spreadsheet softwares uh, that supports similar functions now let's take a quick look at the excel uh, interface uh, at the top you will find ribbon this is called ribbons now we are on the home ribbons so we have got different kinds of ribbons where you can access uh, various uh, commands and uh, functions so below that in this worksheet area where you can input uh, your data and uh, manipulate it is on this place so try to add uh, what i add uh, the files like this try to create uh, some of the column i just created like this and for today we will try to see some of the functions like total average uh, minimum and maximum so now i will try to show you how we calculate uh, these functions easily so the first functions we will try to see is here as you can see there are four courses listed and we want to add these four courses together so uh, we have to add equal sign from your keyboard and you have to add uh, some like this or we call it as some functions and you have to open a brace and you have to drag from here up to here in order to add the input which is called cell reference uh, by the way you can add it uh, in your own for example i can add it like this for example uh, this cell is d4 which is in the column is d in the row side is 4 so we can combine together these two d4 up to uh, i'm gonna add the last one which is here this one uh, database input with this g4 so i will gonna add it like this so you can use manually like this or easily you can drag like this so you should have to press enter so it will close it automatically the press so the function will be displayed here uh, the result you will gonna get it here so uh, after we get the first result uh, we can use fill like this and we can drag it like this so it, it will distribute the results for the others so as you can see it shows d4 up to g4 and here the next one it shows uh, d5 up to g5 so it will gonna uh, it will not change the column value but it will gonna change uh, the row value so as you can see when i go from one to the other one uh, the rows value will be changed so we can calculate the total values like this is the first way and the other way uh, we can use auto sum so uh, you will gonna get it in the home ribbon so around here uh, it will be indicated like some submission uh, or this is called submission so you can click here first uh, you have to click uh, the space you want the result to be displayed and you have to click on this icon so as you can see uh, it will show uh, which i added previously uh, d4 up to g4 and plus uh, including some function so uh, you, you can easily use like this or uh, you can manually add it for the in order to get the total result so i will click enter and i will follow the same step which i used previously and the next one for the average 
again uh, every time when you want to start a function uh, don't miss to add equal sign so for every functions you have to first add equal sign and after that uh, you have to write the function name in this case the function name is average try to start by writing av and you can get it from the list here and you can double click from here and as i add it for the total value or for the submission uh, you can drag it from here to here the same like total uh, we, we just did it for the total or to calculate for the total uh, by the way try to include only the values uh, most of uh, I mean uh, the peoples they make on the average they include the total uh, so we don't have to include the total uh, we just want to calculate the average of the courses so we have to uh, include only the courses rather than uh, including the total value and we should have to press enter and we're gonna get the average value so i will gonna drag so if we have got uh, more than uh, five values also we're gonna do the same one we can fill it like this and the next thing we're gonna calculate the minimum and the same thing for this one uh, i will start by adding equal sign and i'll write mean and i'm gonna open the press and i'm gonna select the values only again this uh, the same with the average and i will gonna press enter and as you can see for the first value it shows the minimum which is 55 and for the second one is 23 so uh, it only shows the minimum values from the listers and the next one is maximum uh, again the same with maximum so i will gonna start with equal sign and i have to add it max and i will gonna open the brace which is max function uh, is for maximum so mean function is for minimum so i will gonna include the values again like this and i should have to press enter so we can drag it like this so with this we try to calculate the total of the values and we try to calculate again for average and minimum and maximum as looks like this so uh, that's it for this uh, basic excel function tutorials so we covered uh, just using uh, some functions like some average minimum and maximum functions so with those tools you, you can perform uh, essential uh, calculations and analysis uh, within excel so i hope you find this tutorial well uh, if you have any questions or topics uh, you would like to see covered in the future video uh, please let me know in the comment below and the other one don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this uh, until next time Happy spreadsheeting. Thank you.